Hello friends and welcome back to another episode. This episode I'm reviving DDFMP, Deconstructing and Deciphering Fashion Magazine Photos. And this one is especially for user Adam K who goes by the handle ACOM Awareness at YouTube. So he, he requested that I revive this series and, and do some additional pieces uh, in this genre here. So we'll start with this one. I've been looking for a while. I just couldn't find anything with a a deeper meaning, uh, hidden layers, but this one I think uh, will fit the bill quite nicely. Okay, so uh, the reason I'm doing this one is uh, this is basically a reference to the opium dens of 100 years ago. Okay, so the drug of choice uh, in the olden days, right? I'm going back to 18, somewhere 1850 to 1890. Generally in the 1880s, 1890s, uh, opium dens were very popular, okay, because mariners, seafarers would go, uh, you know, abroad and they would bring back many things, right? So there was the trade routes, right? We had land-based trade routes and sea-based trade routes. And one of the things that was picked up, of course, was uh, opium. So <clears throat> in the United States, the two major centers for opium dens uh, they were San Francisco and New York. Okay, so so let's talk about <clears throat> the, the overall theme here. Okay, so this this is a dirty dirty environment. You can see the painting here. The frame is distressed. The overall look is very dirty. Right, and even one of the the central themes here is okay. Again, we, we talked about this before in the suicide bomber uh, piece was the the deliberate use of incorrect color temperature okay so you can see here this has got a very yellowish orange cast to it which basically means right the, the photographer used a, a daylight setting on the camera when in fact it's generally being lit by neon or some type of tungsten or fluorescent and it's in it's the resulting image the color balance is incorrect by about 2000 Kelvin okay so this is a very yellowish orange cast for artistic purposes of course okay so the getting back to the central point the central point is ink being the the new drug okay so we, we had drugs over the years and a hundred years ago it was opium and you you know a person would go to these dingy type uh, environments of course they didn't look like the ceramic tile they were wooden in nature but uh, so people would go there to these filthy little places and and get high on opium but as time has progressed our culture our culture now everybody's inked up so this is this is the point so this gentleman here is all inked up okay so ink you can tell he's applying a tattoo here to a, this woman's ankle and so that's what we're all you know everybody's tat tatted up these days so tattoos are the new drug ink is the new opium okay so that's the central theme of the of the photo that ink is the new opium so let's cover the the technical aspects now this the, the clothing company is BB okay so that we talked about this before the two uh, central opium den areas uh, going back 100 years ago either San Francisco or New York and and BB is headquartered in Brisbane California which is a suburb of San Francisco. It's only literally just a few minutes from Brisbane to San Francisco. So we can tell here from the headquarters being in Brisbane that this is not New York. The, the theme here is San Francisco, California. It's an opium den, a modern day opium den, San Francisco, California. Oh, and it is pronounced Brisbane, by the way. So Australia, Australia is pronounced Brisbane. But here in the United States, they pronounce this Brisbane. So I just, as a technical point, I wanted to get that straight, that it is Brisbane as opposed to Brisbane. Okay, but again, I'm actually talking about San Francisco. Okay, let's talk about some of the elements of the photo. And the one thing I'm kind of, I don't get, is the deliberate mixing up of time periods. It's kind of confusing to me. So let's talk about that. So this is the central... We talked about this before, remember, and also in Terry Richardson, that one page is the actual advertisement, and the opposing page is the artistic uh, aspect of it. So you remember that with Valentino and Terry Richardson, they did the same thing. So this is the actual advertisement. The right-hand page is the advertisement, okay? So it's showing a scarf and some chandelier earrings. We have uh, the Courtney Stodden-inspired arm cuff, and this is the central thing here, this, this open-back jumper, jumpsuit. 
These are all products available from BB. Okay, and I priced these out. These are this entire outfit complete is about 250 US dollars, which isn't bad. So this is what you're trying to to get across is that you can you can dress very stylishly for you know a moderate amount of money. So again, 250 head to toe, you're good except for the shoes. Okay, now this is the artistic element where so they're trying to sell you the clothing, but artistically they're showing that ink is the new opium. Okay, we're 100 years later past the opium dens and ink is the new drug. Okay, so let's talk about the mixed time periods. I'm not, I'm not getting this and I don't know why the creative people decided to go this route, but we'll just study this for a minute. So this, this jumper, this open back jumper, these were very popular in the 70s. Okay. And so is this scarf. This scarf is about 1971 to 75 when these were big. This also, jumpers were big with women about 71 through 75, very roughly. Okay, we can, you know, vary a few years on the back side or the front side, it doesn't matter. But generally, this is 1970 to 75. So this is 70 to 75. We come over here, and this, this woman getting the tattoo. She's in, she's in agreement with that time frame, especially the, the heavy eyeliner, the very heavy overuse of the eyeliner in the center parted haircut, kind of flat. This is late 60s, early 70s. So we're in agreement with the time frame here and here, okay, except for the makeup. And we'll talk about the makeup is mid 80s. This makeup, the way she's wearing her makeup is about, you know, 85 to 87, somewhere in there, very roughly. And you can, and, and actually, she looks like Kelly LeBrock. If you remember the actress Kelly LeBrock, and there's another, there's another loose connection here that I'm going to make. So this model kind of looks like Kelly LeBrock, circa 1985, 1986. And this guy, he's wearing a man bun, right? So there's two elements going on with the man bun, or they call it a top knot. Okay, so this was again. So we talk about the Chinese, right? And again, I'm not trying to disparage Chinese, and I, this is not a racial slur in any way. But the Chinese were involved with the with the opium dens, right? They ran the opium dens a hundred years ago. So this gentleman, I, th I don't think this is very brilliant on the artistic on the artistic uh, the set design or whatever. Their use of the top knot here is indicative of a Chinese national. 100 years ago in the opium den and it's remaining true to the theme is that ink is the new opium so the man's hairstyle is matching the overall theme of the photo and it's also the other connection is Steven Seagal and, I, I, and again I'm not going there specifically but Kelly LeBrock was married to Steven Seagal and Steven Seagal wore this top knot for I don't know maybe five years or so ten years he wore that in the 1980 late 80s so into the 90s he wore this this again because he was a martial artist and he wore like martial, you know, uh, Chinese, you know, the influence of the martial arts from the Asian peoples. So there's an element of that in here. And I just think it's it's a wonderful photo that not only is it is that ink is the new drug, but you have this Kelly LeBrock and Steven Seagal connection very very loosely, very loosely on that connection. Okay, so we talked about the disagreement in the time periods. Now then, this was revived in the 1990s. This men wore this top knot or man bun in the 90s. So we have we have 70s, the makeup is 80s, this model is 70s, and the hairstyle is 90s. So there's disagreement in the photo as far as time period, okay? And I, I kind of wish, in a strange way, I wish they would have tied it together a little more tightly, that there would have been agreement in the clothing and in the makeup to pinpoint it to a narrower time frame. But again, we, we have to give them artistic license because they're totally uh, entitled to that as the designers and the creative people they're free to do as they choose so they decided to go with this but just uh, according to the time period just things are a little bit loose and they're not as nailed down as, as I kind of would like them to be as far as time periods okay okay so we covered the lighting we covered uh, the San Francisco because of the location of Brisbane California being a suburb of San Francisco and I think that's about it. So that's the central theme of the photo again is that ink is the new opium. Okay, ink is the new opium. And BB clothing, the beautiful clothing, you can get all dolled up for about $250. Okay, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you sitting through this with me. And uh, uh, maybe if I can find some more photos that are very heavily artistic, I'll do some more episodes in the future. Thank you.